Here we are with our horses. Yeah. Look at these tall guys. I used to do this back in my days in New Mexico. All right. Feels good to be back. <laughs> What's your name? Benny. 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 Yeah. Nice to meet you, Benny. Benny. What's this one's name? Lucero. 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 All right, Lucero. It's you and I today. Mine's is beans. Because he farts. <laughs> this horse fits me then, right? <laughs> it's the perfect horse for you. <laughs> Lucero, we forge our own path. <laughs> Guys, we're racing because it's raining. It's downpouring on us. We're trying to get to a house, and it looks like we're in the Lord of the Rings. This is insane. <laughs> My camera's getting soaked. We gotta find that oh, shelter. There's shelter right there. I gotta put the camera away, it's coming down. <laughs> Dude, we, we literally got inside the shelter before it, it came down like twice as hard. It is coming down outside. We're so close to the church too. So as you can see, the church is just right there. We're so close to it. Look at this little guy. Hey bud. Ten minutes later, the rain has stopped and we're making our way over to the church. We're making our way across the volcanic rock now. This is just like in Iceland, in Hawaii. It used to be a full city here. Whoa. I think it's a sign something's happening. Oh my God. And behind it, you can see the volcano. We've made it to the front of the church. Look at how amazing this place is. You can hear crows up there too. It's very ominous, kind of cloudy, and there's this dark lava rock just surrounding it. Hey, what is up you guys? Today we're in San Juan, and what this is, is this is the remnants of a church, and it's the only thing left here in this town called San Juan. What happened was in 1943, a, uh, a farmer saw a crack, a two meter crack, open up in his farmland and he thought that was really weird and then over the course of the next two years this smoke and ash started coming out of the crack and so they had plenty of time to evacuate they all left because it was really weird and had a really bad smell so the whole town evacuated then over the course of the next eight years the ash turned into lava and the lava just built up and built up and over the course of those eight years it built this volcano which we're going to go visit shortly and because of that there's lava rock all around us as you'll see and the only thing left is this very tall church in this whole town. We're gonna go check this place out now. It's time to go inside this thing. Oh, you can go down there. Yes. Whoa. Oh, look at that. So this is how you get into the church. Okay, so I guess we're climbing. There's not even that much here and it's just amazing. I know! I can't believe the scale of this place until you're actually here. I mean, you have this huge church, the volcano back there in the background, and this is the front entrance right over there where people used to come in. The sun has luckily come out now and we're able to see everything so nice in this bright light. So over here, we have the entrance. This is where everyone would come into the church years and years ago. Oh, look at this. You can see all these flowers in here. Oh my God. We have flowers. We have paintings of Jesus, crosses, more crosses and more flowers. Oh my God. I can't even believe that I'm in here. It's 
town was actually evacuated before the volcano erupted. So people didn't die from the uh, the lava or the volcano or whatever. They actually died from the lightning caused by the volcano. Three people were actually struck by lightning, and those are the only three people that died in this. I think this is probably the coolest church and coolest place I've been to in a very long time. I've climbed up this massive rock to get a better viewpoint of this church. I really wanted to go up there. I don't think there's any way possible unless you climb along the outside. But I'm not that much of a parkour wizard where I could do that. The area surrounding us is a bunch of mountains, some volcanoes, trees, and fog. Let me tell you, lava rock is not easy to climb. Everything you grab is sharp and pointy. like there's some kind of like dark oh it's very cold a cold basement look at that we got to go in there whoa no way this is some like underground temple stuff it looks like it's not much other than this room though this is really crazy though it's like a secret underground temple. I'm sure it's not a secret, but I like to think that. I feel like some Indiana Jones booby trap is about to go off in here. So what it looks like is maybe you could go in there, but it is collapsed with rocks. It's like a mine shaft that's been collapsed. There's no getting past that. Even through there, you can't go in. It's time to go into the bottom of this. Someone made like a stone rock pile so you can climb up there. We're going to climb up and then in. Now just to head down, if you can see, there's a spiral staircase right there. But I don't think it leads to anything. I think it leads to the basement where that, that closed off barricade of rocks was that I showed you guys earlier. Look at this. Whoa, you can see to the top of the tower. There's no floor in the middle? <sighs> Dude. What's it like? You can see all the way up. Like, there's no floors on any of them. No. Holy crap. Yo, we're going down go really into the depths. I need more light, I need more light. That is the only light I can do. I got light. You got light too? I have a flashlight? Oh my god. This is way... Fuck, man. We shouldn't be down here. Yeah, I don't know if we should. You think we should? I don't know. Dude. Oh. What? What do you see? Spiders. Ah! <laughs> don't, don't say that! Don't say that! Oh man, this, this one moves. Hey, I don't know if we should do this. <laughs> Guys, we are, we are pretty far down. Man, if we get trapped down here... So this is the end? There's nothing this else? This is the end. It goes to like a flat area and it looks like the lava's covered the other, other side. Oh, uh, damn. On the side of this tower right here, we saw a name written. So our guide said there is a way to get up here, so we're going to attempt to try and get up here right now. Um, I have been inside this one right here. It just goes down and you can look up. But I'd like to be able to get on top of that because that would be so cool. The way up doesn't look easy. There's a huge gap and he's saying you have to jump to this. But that's like instant death if you hit your head on the rocks and yeah. stuff down here. I really want to Dude, I, I was excited but now... Skeptical. 
this rock is, this, this church was built in like 16 something. And it's already, you can see clumps that have already fallen off. <laughs> I wouldn't want to jump on and hold on and have one break. Yeah. The Actually, the signature says 2002. <laughs> so it's been 15, 15 years, years since someone's climbed and signed their name at least. Sweet. I saw that the rock is broken right here. So instead of climbing up and over it, you just climb straight up. So I think this might be the way right here. Yeah, can you put your hands under my foot? This one? Yeah. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. hold on. Um, uh, let's try, wait, wait, hold on. Yeah, try that. Uh, huh. <sighs> okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, okay. By me, I'll tell you what. Mm. <clears throat> what do you feel? So, I'd say like, make sure yeah, you're 100%. He's in. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> oh! Hey. Hey. That was scary. Yeah, no doubt. I don't know how. It was a little scary, or a lot of scary, but I just climbed up through this hole. The drop looks so much smaller on camera, but I'm like on the side of this thing shaking. Whew. You get to the, the middle, like the gate? That's what I'm gonna look for right now. If you get over there and it's okay, I, I think that I'll... But look at where we are. It was totally worth it. Now we gotta just hug the edge like a true assassin. <laughs> Josh's gonna have FOMO so bad. I know. This is insane. We're inside one of the towers now. Man. Can you believe we made it up here? <laughs> no. I feel like after the shot game we played, you're just like, oh my god, what just happened? Yeah, yeah. Whoa, it's slippery. This side, super sketchy. So I made it up very sketchy. Uh, we can see over the edge here, there's some stairs. We wanted to go over there, but it is too crumbly for us. Even we have uh, limits. Yeah. So it's too crumbly. We're not gonna walk over there because we do not want to die. You can see like half of it's already all broken off. There's two layers of stone, right? Yeah. The bottom layer of stone's broken on a lot of the parts and it, it's like, I would imagine, how much do you weigh, like 170 pounds? 190. 190, I weigh about the same. That's gonna fall. Yeah. All right, Mike, it's drone time. It is drone time, man. These are the these are the drone shots we've been waiting our whole lives to get. We have, we're gonna race the rain though, because the wind picked up and you can see it's cloudy again. Yeah, we gotta go quick. Thank you for those drone shots. You did amazing work. <laughs> this this puts the peg on the very toughest drone shoot I've done in my life. We are on super sketchy collapsed roofs of, of churches. It's gonna rain soon, the battery was dead, but we got some super sick stuff, man. And look at you, you're like sitting on the edge of this thing. Don't even remind me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did it! Ankles good? Ankles were good. We have finally finished exploring this place. We've been here for about four hours now. We're about to get back on the horses and go ride up the volcano now. Back on the horses. I think we have about a two out. How long is it gonna take us? I think. said two. Don't know? All right. <laughs> he doesn't know. It's his first time. <laughs> we have gotten to the bottom of the volcano. We are leaving the horses here and now walking by foot. We've climbed up a little bit to the small volcano now. And you can start to see this like super hot steam coming out of this volcano. Check it out. Holy crap! That's so hot! Yo! How hot? Dude, hot. So hot. <laughs> oh yeah. 
That is really hot. So you can see the smoke, a little tint of it through the camera. You could boil your tea here. Yeah. Wow. My hand's all wet now. You can see all of this. <laughs> Look at the just everything in the distance too. Everything's just steaming and smoking. We're walking through like steam lava fields. Look at that ominous looking volcano up there in the clouds. We're working our way up the volcano. It is so steep. Oh my God. This is like a death wish. There's no set path that we're taking either. No. We're literally just climbing up roost. <laughs> we're climbing up loose rock right now. Very hard to climb straight up this volcano. We've made it all the way up to the top of San Juan. This is the volcano that destroyed that whole village, everything around it. We've seen the church, what's left of the village, all that lava rock, and now we've seen the volcano. We've come full circle, and it feels so good to be at the top. Just feeling the ground, you can feel the heat of this thing. It's so hot. I mean, you would expect that obviously because it's a volcano, but actually being here and feeling it. Guys, I hear thunder in the distance. I'm a little nervous. We still have a two hour ride back and like a 30 minute walk down. So if it downpours again with no shelter, it's not gonna be a lot of fun. Oh no, that does not sound good. <laughs> if you look, if you look in the distance over here, it's the nice bright sun, blue sky. You look over here, it's like Mount Doom. It's about to rain, I think. I think it's coming this way. So we're about to get drenched. Oh God. Guys, this probably has to be one of the most epic endings or outros I've ever done. I'm doing it from the top of the volcano because we're about to pack up our gear, go run and ride our horses back two hours through the rain. Make sure you check out Kick the Grind if you have not at this point already. Check them out, Mike Corey. Thank you so much for taking us here, Mike. Man, my pleasure. This place is amazing. Check out Exploring with Josh. You know the deal. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. You look like um, with your white horse, you're like Gandalf. <laughs> Those shall not pass in my forest. <laughs> have a mana berry. They <laughs> your energy. <laughs>